All right, so this video is going to show you how to manually add a student to your class in Go Math Think Central. So really, this is addressing that FAQ regarding what if a student doesn't appear in my populated school list, how do I manually add that student? So let's take a look. Becky's answer is very carefully. Um, one of the reasons we're um, really trying to front load this is in the past, when teachers have manually added students, um, we're using various naming conventions, and eventually what happens is this student has multiple user accounts, and when they move schools and teachers want to switch them over to their school, um, it gets very messy. So we would like everyone to use this common protocol if they're manually needing to add a student. Now, make sure you go in and take a look to see if that student is, is listed in your school list that appears. Um, but if not, when you go ahead and add the student, you will always create it so that the student's username is BPS and then their student ID number. Okay, and even if their student ID number is just five characters, you would put BPS and those five numbers, if you will. Their password is simply their student ID number. Now, for their username, we had to use BPS and their student ID number because Harcourt products are global, so this would eliminate any um, duplicate um, usernames that are already taken across the country. So that kind of uh, narrowed that in for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, take a look at how to do this within Think Central. All right, so once you're logged into your dashboard and you're in your Think Central account, what you'll need to do is you'll go to Settings, Manage Classes. Once you're in this window, um, what you're going to need to do is go to Classes and add a student. Now, initially, what we all want to do is click on our class, and we want to add a student in this window. Okay, that seems like a natural thing to do. But what you'll need to keep in mind is, after you click on Manage Classes, you see this yellow bar up here. And in order to add that student, you need to do it under Add Student, because it will add the student to your school listing and to your specific grade level at your school. So right now, I'm going to add a student at Arrowhead in third grade. And I'm going to call this student Patty Test Student. Okay, so you'll put the student name in there. Anything with a red asterisk is required. Under the username, I'm going to go ahead and put BPS789000. Okay, Patty's student ID that's listed within PowerSchool and on your list is 789000. Okay, so her username will be BPS and then that number, and then her password will be 789000. And I need to type that again. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and click on Add. I don't need to complete any of this extra data, not going to worry about that. Click on Add. So now what's happened is Patty has been added into your Arrowhead School listing, okay, as a third grader. Patty hasn't yet been added specifically to your class. So under Classes, we're going to manage our class. I want to add her into Mrs. Berg 2015-16. Assign students. And actually, I'm going to go to all and I'm going to choose third grade so that I'm just looking at the third grade students and not the whole school. I go down to test students. Here, do you see that Patty is there? I want to add her to my class. And then I click on done and OK. So now, if I were to check my roster, I can see that Patty is now in my class on my roster. Okay? So that's how you add a student manually. Please um, remember to follow that protocol of how we're naming students, um, and that will, I think, save us a lot of headaches in the future. Um, thanks, and I hope that was helpful.